small, portable, and inexpensive loop antennas such as my U-Loop here are really great for DXers like me who like to get outside with our DX. But one of the challenges you run into is, okay, how do I support that antenna outside? What do I mount it to? Even DXers who use them at home still have the same problem. Does it need to be up high? Does it need to be down low? What am I going to mount it to? Well, there are a number of solutions, obviously, that you can look at, and today we're going to explore one such solution, a homemade, inexpensive, easy-to-build PVC H-stand that you can build for about 20 bucks and about five minutes worth of work. Stay tuned. <music> I remember my, my dad had an amateur radio friend. This was way before I became a DXer. Um, and his friend would come over and they would work on amateur radio projects. And one of those I remember distinctly was a little base, a wooden base, and had a PVC pipe and mast in the middle. And it was for a two meter antenna that they were going to be using. And you could turn it and change the direction and things like that. Um, and that kind of that, no, that notion of the DIY aspect of, of ham radio and the radio hobby in general always kind of stuck with me. And I knew that it would be part of. You know, if you're going to be doing this hobby for any length of time, at some point you're going to need to learn how to do some of these DIY aspects and build some of your own gear or equipment or supplies or whatever it is you might need. So I'm preparing for a de expedition to the Outer Banks um, to, to bring some, some antennas and my SDRs with me. And to the antennas, what I'm going to have is my AirSpy U-Loop antenna here. Uh, to pair with my HF Plus Discovery. I'm also going to bring a portable version of my W6LVP loop as well. And so I got to thinking, you know, how am I going to mount these? How am I going to support them? Do I to string them up in a tree? I definitely don't want to be doing anything that's going to require me to kind of screw it into the side of a house I'm just renting for the weekend. Um, and that's when I remembered at his website, uh, Larry Plummer, W6LVP, where you can buy the loop antennas, has the manuals. And in that manual, he actually has a description here of one of these. It's a little PVC H stand um, that you can build for about $20 is what I spent on the materials recently. You might be able to find them a little cheaper depending on where you are. Um, but with just a little bit of time to, to prepare the materials and then very little time to put them all together, you can have a very nice stand that you can use to mount your loop antenna or even a little small, uh, like an FM three element beam that you could put um, you know, obviously you want to get those high, so if you're going to put it on top of your vehicle or something like that uh, to get it up off the ground, you could do so. Just a small antenna will fit in here with a nice little one-inch mast, and there you go. You are DXing. So today we're going to look at how do you prepare the materials, what do you need, and then how you put it together. And um, hopefully this will help you in your own endeavors, whether that be at your house to support your antenna or you're going to be out portable like the eye will be doing some DX out and about. Um, my father, N5FPW, he actually built one of these for his W6LVP loop that he uses at home. Um, and for a long time, this is what his loop was mounted to right off the ground, and it has served him very, very well with a lot of DX catches there in Brasstown, North Carolina. So again, we're going to look at it today and uh, show you how to put one of these together. For today's DX101 from the workbench, we are putting together one of these. This is a little PVC stand for a portable version of the W6LVP loop. And we have one of those on order, should be here next week, um, that we're taking with us to the Outer Banks for our DD expedition on the Outer Banks. So um, this is actually printed out from the W6LVP website. You can see here uh, a nice parts list. You have three um, one inch PVC tees guys here that. you have uh, seven pieces of one inch PVC pipe that are seven inches long so that's what we got here we're gonna cut this up you have four one inch caps we'll cut those here and then you have a, um, a one inch PVC compression coupler which we have here and then uh and that's it so you basically take this and they have the instructions on how to put it all together so we're going to work on that today so the first step is we're going to measure out our seven inch sections here uh, we need seven of those here and i have a five foot piece of pvc pipe that we're going to schedule 40 
that we are going to start cutting up. So let's go ahead and do that now. All right, so our first step here is we're gonna measure out seven inches. Go ahead and get this guy ready. Another seven incher here. Oops, drop down tape measure. All right, now you're not going to be able to see it in the shot, but I'm going to go ahead and do the rest here. I'm going to do number six or uh, number three, number four. All right, so I've got my five foot piece of PVC marked up here in seven inch increments. So now I'm gonna take my PVC cutter here and we're gonna start cutting. All right, so we've got all of our parts. We've got everything cut up. We've got all of our parts together. Let's put this H stand together. It's pretty straightforward, pretty easy. Let's see what we can do. So let's start here with one of the T's. Now you wanna make sure when you get your T uh, adapter that you don't get one that has threading in it. Like this one, you see how this one has the threading inside? Yeah, well, when I first started to make this video, I made the mistake. I put my two pieces in here. I had this guy try to put it in. Wouldn't go in because of the threading. So just make sure you have your threading not in any of your holes. This needs to be a slip on, not a screw in. I'll put some links in the description here today that'll show you some Amazon options if you uh, want to order offline or you can go to your local hardware store. They should have these as well. Lowe's, Home Depot, Ace Hardware, or your local Bob and Judy type place. All right, so I have my seven inch pieces here that I've cut. I'm just gonna put one in here, one in here. Okay, nice and good. All right, now on the ends of these, I'm gonna put my other T's. And then I'm just gonna twist until I have a nice vertical on this piece. So you can kind of see this already starting to take shape, okay? So what we're gonna have here, this is the middle part of the H. We just wanna make sure this is nice and vertical and flat okay stick this piece in here we're gonna stick a piece in here and on this one we can actually put a cap do the same thing over here with the cap these will act like feet over here with a cap here with a cap and then on top of this piece we put our compression coupler I think goes best on that one yeah and now we are together okay so you can see here Everything's put together. Um, and what I would do in a situation where, let's say I have this put together at a portable deployment, I have everything up, I'd have my mast that holds my antenna. In this case, it'd be my W6 LVP loop, but I can use any other mast that I might have as long as it's gonna sit nicely in this inch opening, uh, hole opening here. Um, when I get done, 
and just basically reverse the process. Take this piece out. Now you can take this out of the compression uh, coupler or you can leave it as it is, whichever way you want to do it. Take my feet. You can leave the caps on. You don't obviously want to take those off. I'm going to leave my T's on. And I just kind of do it like this. Hopefully this video has been helpful as always. If so, please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to hit subscribe and the little bell notification icon. That way you can be notified when new videos are available here on the channel. From all of us here at DX Central 73, best of DX. Now let's go back and hit the bands.